Hi, oh, yeah, hey all. Um, another uh, video update from Aaron. Um, as usual, uh, check out the playlist and subscribe for more updates. So I'm at Chambor now. So uh, Chateau de Chambor, one of the most uh, famous um, chateau mm -hmm. in France. Um, I think it's the second most visited after uh, mm -hmm. Versailles. And oh yeah, just so you get some sense of where I am. Uh, mm -hmm. Not far from Tours. I guess that's relatively central in France now. Um, but I won't talk too much about this because I've um, I have bought the ticket, but I haven't been inside yet. And also, I intend to read more about the king who made this, uh, Francis the First, Francois, Francois the First. Um, like, yeah, very famous apparently, an important king. I still haven't read about much about him. So what I will do is talk about uh, the last week or so. Was the last in the last video update. I was um, just in Rennes, in Brittany, so um, I left Brittany, was it yesterday morning? Yep. So uh, yeah, I liked Brittany a lot, um, although uh, it's too flat and in the end it was also too hot. <laughs> so my kind of short term plan now is to get to the Pyrenees as soon as possible. I think I'll take a train tomorrow morning towards Bordeaux and maybe uh, Biarritz to get uh, down to the south. Um, Southwest. So, and yesterday I was in a Da Vinci museum, but first, um, yeah, to sum up Brittany, uh, had some of the, some crepes there, and it, there's a sausage crepe, galette saucisse, which was um, very nice. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a tr traditional thing from the region, and uh, yeah, I liked it a lot. I, I remember um, when I used to make pancakes, I would often put in meat, sometimes cold meat in as well, so um, I guess I'm not surprised I like that. <laughs> uh, what else in Brittany? Oh yeah, there was the the dolmens and the megaliths. I mentioned one of them um, in my last video. There's uh, quite a few of them around Brittany. Um, but yeah, I think I talked more about them in my last video. So then in Brittany I also went to, uh, oh yeah, Mont Saint-Michel, which I think is technically in Normandy, but it's, it's close enough. Um, yeah, incredibly famous um, mountain, or no, not mountain, island. I hope this internet works. Um, to get the photos up. I'm sure you've all seen it before. And uh, um, what is it going to say? Ah, yes. The night before I visited it, I was uh, cycling around nearby, and it was always visible in the distance because the all of the land nearby is very flat. So it's pretty amazing to um, to see it sticking up. So it would have been very impressive um, to all the to everyone who saw it. Like it's more than I think it's a thousand years old at least. I forget exactly. So um, it would always have like dom dominated the landscape for a long time. Um, yeah. So then Saint Saint Malo, Saint, Ma Saint Malo, Saint Malo is close to there. A nice city. Oh yeah, I visited a friend of a friend there who owns a, a very nice, um, uh, what would you call it? It's not quite a cafe, but most of the stuff they sell is for taking away. But um, yeah, kind of homemade, locally produced um, uh, food. Everything from, uh, you know, sweets and to sandwiches. Um, yeah, that was really nice. Um, so yeah, nice to talk to her briefly and um, eat some of the food there. Um, so, mm -hmm. okay, those photos aren't coming up. Uh, oh, another thing, did my longest cycle ever. Um, it was a bit, it was kind of spontaneous-ish. Like in the morning I planned to do 200 kilometers at least, but uh, then about halfway through I added a bit more, did 250 kilometers. And there's a fair bit of climbing in that as well. And that was on the same day as the final day of the Tour de France. So I thought that was kind of funny. That um, while all the professionals were being lazy all day long, I, I wasn't being lazy. Oh, and what I did... You know, the, it has been 20 years at least since there was a stage longer than 250 kilometers. There was one this year that was very, very slightly less than 250. So um, yeah, I did a long stage. <laughs> um, yeah, Mont Saint-Michel, long climbing, 
and the Da Vinci Museum. So I think I'll talk about that in another video because it was really amazing actually. So I'll talk about uh, the Da Vinci Museum in my next video.